Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Siberia the World Before. I'm, I'm literally starting here because I couldn't help but read this. It says, and the Dean is an extortionist. He says he'll only help her if she fixes the mechanical musicians. <laughs> like, wow, okay. Such a... You think so highly of him, Kate. <laughs> At least the game doesn't. Now, mind you, this is how these adventure games work. It's like, yes, you do something for me, I do something for you. Quid pro quo. Then this time we can actually get in trouble with the law. Uh, right. I need to get this... Uh, I was hoping I could just... I don't know if it's going to remember the number for me. No, it's not going to. I just barely remember. Oh, come on. This camera at times, it's like, are you going to be working with me here? No. Whoa. Stop, stop, stop. You're passing it. Okay. So I'm just going to write this down. Five. One, two, three, eight, 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 three, two, one. All right. So. Do I have to press in the five? I mean... By normal circumstances, that would just be the country code. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, I clicked the door. So, reasonably, I'm just gonna let the camera zoom around, because my god. Alright, let's use the phone. Interact. Okay. Five. Uh, one, two, three. Eight, eight, eight. Three, two, one. It's actually really. I mean, when you're putting on the inputting it, it looks Back easy. Back in a Dietrich. Good and talk. Hello. Excuse me, but your your van's parked on the square and it's it's blocking the way. Would you mind moving it? Oh, sorry about that. I'm with a client nearby. I'll move it right away. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering, like, are you are you going to do something more? You're just kind of looking at that phone like it's... It's going to reveal a secret. Okay. Yeah, in terms of, like... Patterns? Super easy uh, one to remember. But yeah, if I was like trying to remember off the top of my head, it's not really going to... It's not really going to stick. Okay. We cleared the passage of the mechanism. So let's walk all the way to this and then we'll switch over to Dana. So we can get the code. Yeah. Dana Rose! Oh good, it's over there. So I can just get you to head on this way. Oh, oh it's like, where's the door? <laughs> oh, interesting. Uh-huh, okay. How do I know what's on the back? Okay, four, two, five, three. Here's what I'm gonna do. Four, two, five, three. And then we're gonna use, hopefully I can use one of these. Oh, I can't. Oh, maybe it's, sorry, maybe it's the one over this way. Four, two, five, three. Oh, no, you're going farther away than I want you to. Oh my god, camera, please! Can I? Oh, can I? Oh, she won't. Okay. So I just have to figure it out. Um. Four. So we got nine. Two. Nine, seven. Five, nine, seven, zero. Assuming that's going to be the exact opposite. 
and the three over there, there, 9708. Okay, hopefully that will work. Okay, now I need to get her back there because we need to actually see the mechanism inside anyway, so. Go. Nine, seven, zero, uh, was it three? No, no, no. I can't remember. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, brute force. Okay, nine, seven, zero, eight. There we go. Huh. All right. Oh my goodness, what am I looking at here? Okay. Inspect. What is this? Okay, there's a little pin on the side there. Wow, I would hate to be the one who must tune this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so first let's. Oh, this is an. Uh... It's locked. It's locked. Oh. Well then. Actually, how does this sound? There's no air flowing through. I must have missed something. No air flowing through. Oh, because we haven't. Okay, how is this? Okay, we can turn these. This. Oh, okay. This turns it like this. What does this do? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh. I guess let's do this one by one. We have. A gold circle. Circle, circle, gold. Actually, curiosity. Oh, here we go. Okay, so there is like a. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, that should be a bit farther along. The gold right here. Okay, this one's gonna require a bit more of a back and forth. Here go. This makes sense. And then... That's closed like that. Okay, let's just do this one by one then. Um... There's no other gold... Bar, is there? No. And then if we go back, they are both open. That one's that one. That one's open, and then we have this one at the bottom here. Okay, next one. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have these three pegs here, like that, and then the top two are closed. Okay, I didn't see that, but... Uh, okay, hold on. This one is... I'm gonna have to double check with this one. Top two are closed. But it doesn't look like... Sorry. But there's not... There's no... It doesn't look like there's any hole <laughs> to actually cover. So what's it covering? Okay, if you say so. Oh, not that one. No. That one's fine. Oh my god, I can't. I really. It's really difficult to tell. Oh! That one's a twofer. Okay, let's just go back to make sure that I got these three pegs right. Okay, I just didn't see this. I didn't see this one over here. And like, this one is just covering nothing. Which is weird, but alright. Um. Any. It's just two. And nothing, nothing else. Two, nothing else.
Hmm. How? My question is, is there a way for me to tell? Okay, no, this is the gold. I'm, I can't really see on the side, so I'm just gonna have to assume this one is it. And then this one, we boop, close it. All right. And then now this bottom one. Going back to Dana. Oh, I think that's the exact image that we've got. And so now I just need to close one of them. No, this is it. This is exactly it. Okay. Oh my god, there's... Oh, what? I have to use something on it. Do I have any sort of oil? Okay, in the meantime, let's just fix this. Let's tune it, but... Yeah, I don't think I have any sort of, uh... This looks... complex. Thanks for that. Okay, well, there's no turning. So am I just trying to get the... I'm just trying to get the... Okay, I'm just trying to get the open and close then. Oh! No, it's more than that. I turn it. No! Okay. Starting from the top. Uh... Up, up, down, down. Let's try to see if I can do it this way. No, what the? Oh, seriously? I can't move that one. Up. Huh. Can I move this one though? Wait, do it. I think it's this way, right? Up, up, down, down. Okay, never mind. I was, I was for some reason thinking the other way. Um, up, down. This one I do remember being over the here. Okay, we have a down and then up, it looks like. At least this one's over here. And this one's to the side, that one's down. Okay, and uh, where is this last one? I think... Let me just see if this one's right. Yeah. And then this one's down, and I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So, we've got this one then. Okay, we got it. I thought, Half done. okay. Let's see what's next. I don't know, it's like, use something on the gear. I'm like, there's, there's, is there something I need to use? And it turns out there wasn't. Okay, so, with that, locate the elevators to the clock tower, repair the mechanism in the clock tower, repair the automatons on the square, which technically I have not done yet. Looks locked. I can't go in. What are the chances that, like, the doorway I can exit, I can enter through the back room there? Or the washroom? According to the report, we can access the clock tower mechanism through this building, in what today must be the back room. There is every indication that it is forbidden to the public, Kate Walker. Come on, Kate, gotta think out of the box. Uh, 
Ah, Fräulein. Hello. So, anything else I can help you with? I need to get to your back storage area? <laughs> well, I... I need to get to the back room of the shop. This shop? Yes, if you don't... You I'm need sorry, to explain why. I'm sorry, it's strictly forbidden to the public. Besides, yes. why would anyone want to go back there? Well, it seems that the back room has the only access to the clock tower, which is where I need to get. I'm sorry, but it's against company rules. I can't allow it, Fräulein. Okay, thanks anyway. <sighs> okay, I need to find another way in. Is there the washroom one side? We can't look at the washroom one side? Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't blame him just looking a bit suspicious. Like, why are you just walking to the back area there? Please go. Please stop. Is he the only employee? I mean, he could just be... Hmm. Oh, I thought I saw something else, but... No, okay, not... I saw something here. All right. So, oh wait, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good, you're in the way. What's this? Hmm. I should be able to get through it. I'm if sorry. I can reach is it, it? Is it just open like that? Is that not a window? Okay, there is... I'm sorry. <laughs> what? What in the world? Is there something we should be able to see from Dana's point of view, I'm wondering? Mind you, she couldn't get to the... Oh, this is the door. Oh, for some reason I thought the green one was the... Yeah, and then here, how come it looks so different? Where, are there supposed to be like bars? Or they just maybe change the door? I mean, if this place got, went through a wartime period, then maybe they probably changed the door. Okay. So obviously the problem I'm having right now is that repair the automatons on the square, repair the mechanism in the clock test. Everything is just basically I think this is like the overall no, wait, this is the overall goal. How do I repair the automatons on the square? I mean I guess before we can get to the clock tower. I have to see what else I need to be repairing here. An automaton musician. Looks exactly like Hans's style. Like at Bahogstadt. Okay, I think we already we already saw this. Just wanna see if there's anything more. I just see if it would be new. There is one or more of these things, right? Okay, this is the one I fixed. Hmm. Something's nope, this wrong. Is, this is the one I didn't fix. Looks like a part is missing. Okay, Dana. Wait, is this the one that was closed? So that one has a part missing, which... Hi, what's this? The spare parts for the automatons on the square. Okay. Hmm. Didn't bring me anything I wanted, but... I'm still like Kate. I guess, I mean, technically, by order of the city, it's not allowed to use them at all, but... 
still, Kate. Okay, this is the one where... No, oh my god, please, just... For a reason, this section navigating is being a bit difficult. And I, part of it is, I think, the camera, but... No, oh my god. The introspection just happens to be right there. Is there a way that I can look uh, in? To fall to me. Why is this camera angle, camera angle being like this? The connection between this mechanism and the other ones on the square seems to be operational. Okay, so this one we just need the missing part, which... I mean, I guess with this one, we can just look at the, um... We can just look at the other open mechanism and see what that part looks like. Or get an idea of what the hell I'm supposed to be looking at. Inspect? Oh, what the... No, don't inspect that. Oh, it's because I left off here. Okay, so this weird TikTok thing going back and forth. Hmm. Okay. So, I mean... Where do I get the spare parts? That's my question. Is it all just gonna be in the clock tower? What is in, in, in our inventory? Uh... No, this is inventory here. Just a plane ticket. Mysterious parcel. Letter from... Oh, that's documents. What? No. Okay, inventory. Here go. Rector's report. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we're not... We're not gonna actually use the item, so... Looks locked. I can't go in. Do I use Oscar? I just want to see if I can interact with the door in some way and, like, use Oscar to enter into the back room. Because we clicked on that door, but then we couldn't... There was no other interaction point, so... Which tells me... The elevator Dana saw during her inspection must be right here, behind the door. I need to find a way to reach it. Okay. But she doesn't say anything else. I'm sorry, but if you're not going to drink anything, I must ask you to leave. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then if we go... Oh, what? How come it didn't... I have no idea why. It's... It... Unless... The... Oh, I'm interacting with this. I was like, what the hell? I thought that, that was the door. Okay, so maybe I just probably missed the interaction point. Oh god. Am I... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, what, what, what's the... Okay, this is a very heavy dumpster bin. I'm sure no one's gonna notice. Or they're gonna notice and just keep walking by. Okay. Is this seriously just an open... What the? Oh, the window... Okay, the thing is open. That's why. What's going on? How come it looks so different? It opens Good. up at the top. Now I just have to find the elevator to the clock tower. Must I remind you that we are here illegally, Kate Walker. The employee will be very surprised to see you coming out of his back room. Don't worry, solved. Oh my god, they just put it... Oh no. How According to, to the get... report, the elevator should be behind there. Let's hope I it mean... hasn't been walled up since. There. Okay, just need to clear the passageway. No one's gonna... No. Oh no, 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 no. Someone's definitely gonna hear that. If, if there were wheels at the bottom of the shelf, I would understand. But the fact that... You're saying the guy at the front is not hearing the screeching metal against the tile floor. Is this tile floor? Let's see what it looks like it.
And it just there just also happens to be space in that one corner there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, this must be like great soundproof from the back room of this um non Starbucks Starbucks place. Okay, so at this point we're gonna be on our own. Because I'm assuming we can also find the missing part that I need in order to fix one of the mechanisms down below. What am I looking at? They're still magnificent, in spite of their age. I wonder how long it's been since they were activated. Oh. Oh. Go up. Oh, wait. Oh no, that's luck. Okay. Honestly, when did not even notice that was a ladder. I thought it was just a support structure. It's in this side. I can see it's a ladder. Oh, here we go. Okay, before we go to that, because. Oh. There's a place to go down. Oh, inspect. Okay. <gasps> Here we go. Yes. Looks like spare parts for automatons. Yes. This thing has just been sitting here for ages. Uh, anything more besides this uh, mechanical part? Okay, that, that was it. So let's inspect this wheel. it for the doors. Now I should take care of the engine. Hmm, I feel like we should do that last. <laughs> like someone's gonna notice that. But, do they have the people to actually send someone that quickly down? And mind you, it's just like a few bits of the bell. Looks like so. I need to put that key in the mechanism to activate it. Inspect. Okay, there's a button here. What key? Oh, this key. This entire giant thing is a key. Got it. This is it. Okay. Three working now. One more to go. Huh, okay. I was not understanding that that giant thing was a key. <laughs> Alright, let's take the elevator down. Oh, that was a weird jump cut. <laughs> um, please tell me that you're at least gonna move the... I don't know. Just move move back the shell. Unless you don't... No, you're probably just trying to get it out of here as soon as possible. So actually, you know what? Let's just leave. Let's go. Come on. Get past this. Oh my god, please. <laughs> oh, right. I was thinking that we moved this bin that to entirely block the way, but that's not the case. Either way. There's no WASD, right? No, okay. Okay, uh... I think it was the one over here. Here we go. Stop, please. Okay, camera. If you could... Camera. Camera. What the... I am trying to work here. 
Oh. Here we go. Use the mechanical part that we got, which should be... Oh, no, no, no. Passed it. Okay, just the easiest slotting it in. Right. Okay. I think this is the last one. That's right, Kate Walker. You have to go back and activate the piano on the square like the rector asked you. Oh. I think I just... Here we go. Nope. Did I get it? There we go. Everything's good. Flag's all up. It looks like this wheel is designed to activate the piano's engine thanks to the dynamo effect, Kate Walker. The what effect? Then I guess I'm gonna have to put my thinking cap on again. Huh? Oh, there's more to it? Okay, at the very least, let's just put the, the scores on here. Okay, the sheet music is in place. Oh, we just play? Don't know what Poor I'm little doing. thing. There is no need to get sentimental, Kate Walker. The automaton was made for a specific purpose. It has no notion of sentiment. Indeed, I would go as far to say that it was a basic monofunctional automaton. Unlike some of us more evolved automatons, built to serve several purposes. Oscar, shh. <laughs> Let's uh, a few bits of silence for this poor little thing. Okay, here we go. So, I need to find a new piece for that, huh? Which... We're gonna have to go back... Man! <laughs> we're gonna have to go back all the way to the service and parts area. The back room. Alright. Where... Which direction? This way. Cause I can't imagine this being anywhere else. Oh, okay, camera's going a bit crazy here again. I thought we were going to like get this done, this particular section done with, but I guess not. So this is actually gonna take up an entire set. I mean, I'm hoping that's back here. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure where else it could be unless I were to ask the rector, but I don't think he knows. Could I grab anything else from there? That's the thing. I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to think. Is it something that would only become open when we... So there's like an entire area down there that we... Should I technically be able to go down that way? Yeah, okay. So... 
Because I was thinking, I'm like, I don't see another way to go down, so it's not here. Maybe I do have to go to the... Just played the him. I'm assuming we need the part. Is it that we didn't need the part? That's what I'm wondering. Or is there another section down here that I'm just not seeing? Can we go over there? Oh weird, it's blocked off. They're still magnificent in yeah, spite okay. of their age. I wonder I, how long it's been since they were activated. So now I'm questioning how, in the terms of the setup, where is the, where is the entrance to get them down there? Okay, but either way, it's not here where we need to be. This kitchen I need to look at? I don't think so. We only have that one particular point of view, so. I mean, let's go. Let's see? Because I never actually tried to just pull the thing, but it wouldn't make sense that we've taken out this part that no longer works. And it's like, no, this can this thing can still run just fine. But at the very least I'll try first for Knocking that off. You want to go up, Kate? <laughs> yeah, honestly, this section, this area, just in terms of navigation, is really the camera that's just really messing with me. Okay. Inspect. So if I try to pull this. That doesn't work. Okay. I just really had to make sure. So... Oh yeah, because it very specifically says that we need to... Oh, wait! Oscar! Wait, Kate Walker! I am a highly evolved automaton! Yes, and built to serve several purposes. Off you go now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. You still haven't lost... Any of your irritating habits, Kate Walker? Look on the bright side, Oscar. Thanks to you, the piano works now. Well, hurry up and make use of it like the rector said. Okay, oh no. All right. Time to play. What is she playing and what the music and the, what she's playing is definitely not the same. I like how everyone's just looking at her, but no one's looking at the Tom Tom's like...
Is everything all right, Kate Walker? It's the same. Exactly the same. I beg your pardon? The song I just played with the automatons, Vaughan's hymn? It's exactly the same melody as the one my mom's music box used to play. I used to listen to it all the time when I was a kid. We never did find out what it was. And finding it today represents a major breakthrough because... Because it means that there must be a link between Vaughan, my mom, and probably Dana, too. Dana, who looks so much like me. Ah, a family connection, then. I don't know, but it's possible. And you can be sure as hell that I'm going to find out as soon as I've picked up Dana's trail again. Come on, Oscar. Our dear Mahler owes us a file. Did I already mention how humiliating I think this is? Oh, you did, Oscar. You did. All right. Though, now because Oscar's not in there and there's nothing else to replace it, I don't think that thing can be played ever again. <laughs> Last one time only, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's go down, take the file. I mean, it's not like the rector can get in trouble. This place is closing down anyway. <sighs> okay. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed your concert so much. <laughs> now I can retire fulfilled. Glad to have been of service. I believe you have a file for me. Of course, of course. <laughs> Here it is. Dana Rose, just like you asked. Thanks. At last. <laughs> Okay, oh, there's... Oh. Oh, no address here. Oh, this is definitely Dana's file. Now, the address. Dana's home address in 1937. A detached house, it seems. Number 20, Broca del Nebel. Hmm. The Bridge of Mists, huh? Found what you were looking for? I think so. Well, thank you, and goodbye. No, thank you, Fräulein. Okay. Well, with that, I guess. Well, we might as well just head to the tram right now, and I can end the set there, because usually there's that weird in-between place. How do I get out of here, actually? <laughs> Where's the exit this way, right? And the... Uh... I'm curious, did I ever look at this? Wow. Pity I, I don't have time for some sightseeing. Okay, I thought, sorry, I thought that was like the artist, the, I'm assuming it's an artist gonna showing off his wares, but I, I, I don't imagine where's the right terminology, but actually no, it's Starbucks. No, it's not the Starbucks. Where the where's the where's the exit out? Get me out of here, please. Uh, maybe I should have gone the other way. Oh no, it is this way. Is it? No, it's over here. Okay, I definitely should have gone the other way then. Okay. <laughs> well, either way, let's get ourselves to the tram and then I'll end this up there. So, now that we've heard the Vaughan hymn, Kate uh, is aware that there is definitely a connection. And the fact that she looks so much like da Dana, the, I mean, the only conclusion you can come to that is that there is some sort of family relation. I'm just trying to figure out because they talk about her mother, they talk about the grandparents. And what, it's like 1930-something, so... I mean, it wasn't... Is it, it wasn't that far back. It's not like you're... Could you even say great-grandparents? I'm not sure. I mean, the only thing I could think of is that... 
Um, her mother was adopted by the her grandparents. Her, their miracle baby. Where is the... Oh, here? Okay, here we go. So that's the only thing I can think of. All right. So, with that, we're going to end the set here. So, thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya. Fare thee well.